In this video demonstration, we will explore how Data Publisher makes it incredibly easy to extract data from your emails, appointments, tasks, or even contacts, and publish to a share appoint list. Once you have successfully installed Data Publisher on your system, you will see this new toolbar added to Outlook. Before you can start publishing Outlook items to SharePoint, you need to choose the destination SharePoint list to which the captured metadata from Outlook will be stored as a list item. You will also need to define the mapping or association between the Outlook fields and the SharePoint fields. The first step is to choose a SharePoint list, which will be used to store the published items from Outlook. You can define multiple SharePoint lists for each Outlook folder, or you can define common SharePoint lists that can be used for publication from any Outlook folder. Either ways, you have complete control over which data goes to the SharePoint list from Outlook. Let us define some SharePoint lists that can be used to publish items from any Outlook folders. As we have just started from scratch, this is empty. To configure and link a SharePoint list for mail items, I will select this first option and click the mapping button. Enter the SharePoint site URL. and the credential, if it asks for it. For example, email copies list. Now, it will allow me to perform the mapping between the fields of this particular Outlook item type and the selected SharePoint list. The first column lists all Outlook fields. The second column displays the data type each Outlook field takes. This third column shows if the particular Outlook field is in built field or user-defined one. In this fourth column, there is a drop-down list on each row, consisting of all available SharePoint fields. Simply choose a SharePoint field from this drop-down box to map it to the corresponding Outlook field. As this is a new list, there are few fields available for mapping. So, I will need to create new fields to perform the mapping. Fortunately, you don't need to do it manually from a web browser. Instead, I can select the new list field from the drop-down to create a new field directly in this particular SharePoint list, which then can be used to map with Outlook field. This dynamic ability to create new fields in SharePoint from within Data Publisher eases the configuration process considerably. Now, this particular SharePoint list will be available under this published drop down menu in your Outlook. Data Publisher is ready to publish any mail items from any Outlook folder to this configured SharePoint list by the click of a button. Let us publish some few mails to the SharePoint. When you do this, Data Publisher will extract the relevant metadata from the selected mail based on the field's mapping settings to publish to the associated SharePoint list. After successful publication, the mail item will be tagged as being published internally in Outlook. You can easily recognize it by the presence of the completed flag. It will also get an embedded hyperlink in the body field containing the ID of the published item of the SharePoint. Clicking this link would open the particular SharePoint item in your default web browser. At any point, you can change the data in this particular Outlook item and republish it again to update the corresponding SharePoint item seamlessly. To be more productive, I can select multiple mail items and publish to SharePoint in a click.
let us look at the SharePoint site in a web browser and see how the published items have come up. Here you see that the SharePoint fields are populated with the metadata information extracted from the corresponding Outlook item. You will also notice that attachments, the formatting and style of the body field, the embedded images and links are also retained in the SharePoint list item. Likewise, you can configure and link SharePoint lists to a particular Outlook folder only. You can do this from under the Map Fields menu. Now the question is, why would you want to link a SharePoint list specific to a particular Outlook folder? Well, the answer is to allow the data publisher to read and publish user-defined fields from your custom form of that particular Outlook folder. Let me configure a new SharePoint list specific for this particular public folder that has a customized Outlook form. Let us now connect to the SharePoint site. And select this issue tracking SharePoint list. By default, the first option, Retrieve, from the first item is selected, and what it does is to probe the first item of this folder and automatically seek out all the available fields, including any number of user-defined custom fields. Here you can easily distinguish custom fields from in built Outlook fields by the background color. It is recommended that you stick with this option for displaying all the fields. If you want to retrieve Outlook-specific fields only, you can use the second option. If you know the custom form name, you can opt for the third option to list all the fields defined in the form. Now, let us map some fields between this public folder and the SharePoint issue tracking list. You will notice that this particular SharePoint list is only available for this particular public folder. Now, let us publish some items from this public folder to the issue tracking SharePoint list. We see that the values for the user-defined fields are extracted from the custom Outlook form and populated successfully to the SharePoint item, along with other Outlook-specific fields. We are not restricted to only publishing mail items from Outlook. We can publish appointments, tasks, or contacts too. For example, let us try out publishing from our default calendar. Here, I will select the SharePoint calendar, to which I can publish appointments from my Outlook calendar. Map some appointment fields between the Outlook calendar and the SharePoint calendar. Now, just like we did with mails, I can easily publish my appointments and meetings from Outlook to the SharePoint calendar in a single click. Sometimes, you might have a need to publish or sync the whole contents of an Outlook folder to a SharePoint list. 
you can achieve this in a single click in Data Publisher from the Advanced menu. Just choose one of the configured and linked share a point list, and that's it. Now, you have the whole contents of an Outlook folder. Publish to a share a point list in a single click. So far, we have seen how to publish Outlook items to share a point by selecting and clicking the Publish button. What if I want the publication to be done automatically without requiring any input from my side? Exciting, isn't Data Publisher supports real-time monitoring of any number of Outlook folders to automatically publish incoming mails or newly added appointments, tasks, or contact items to the associated share a point list. You can invoke the automatic publication from the advanced menu. This configuration panel will list all the monitored Outlook folders. For this demonstration, let us specify an Outlook folder for automatic publishing. Say, Inbox folder of my secondary support mailbox. And maps the fields between Outlook and SharePoint, just as we did before. It shows eight fields are mapped. Now, let us confirm this new folder for monitoring. And save. As there are existing mail items within this folder, it will prompt me if to start publishing the items to share a point. Click Proceed. And now, all the existing items will be processed and published. From now onwards, this inbox folder is monitored by Data Publisher, which means any new email received will be automatically published to the particular share a point list, which we had chosen earlier. Let us try sending an email to the support inbox. As you can see, as soon as any email is received, Data Publisher acts on it and publishes to share a point automatically. I can also drag and drop emails from a different folder to this monitored folder. And this would trigger the automatic publishing of these newly added items. You can set Data Publisher to monitor any number of Outlook folders for automatic live publishing. If you want to make changes to an existing settings of the monitored folder, simply click the specific monitored folder from the list. And the corresponding mappings will be loaded in this area. Now, let us explore how we can customize the settings of Data Publisher add in an Outlook to suit our requirements. With this option enabled, Data Publisher will upload the attachment files of the Outlook item to the share a point list item. If you want the attachment files to be removed from published Outlook items, you can enable this option. If this is enabled, Data Publisher will generate a .msg file format of the Outlook item and will be uploaded as attachments to the published share a point list item. If you want to have the functionality to revise and update published share a point list items from Outlook, you can enable this option. For example, I will publish this appointment to share a point. Doing so, on this processed Outlook item, you will see this update button.
and clicking this would synchronize and publish the revision or update of Outlook item back to the corresponding SharePoint list item. By default, whenever you publish an Outlook item to SharePoint, Data Publisher will insert an URL hyperlink of the SharePoint list item to the Outlook item. Clicking this hyperlink will open the corresponding SharePoint item in your web browser. If you don't want to embed this hyperlink of the published item, uncheck this option. Lastly, from this drop down, you can set a particular SharePoint list as the default list for the current Outlook folder. The scum's handy if you have multiple SharePoint lists configured for the particular folder, but want to quickly publish to a default site without remembering and choosing one from the drop down. For example, here, I can simply select an email item and press this button to publish to the default SharePoint list configured for this particular Outlook folder. Now, let us explore the Outlook views that comes with Data Publisher add-in. As we know, Outlook views are a wonderful tool to automatically sort, quickly find information, and rapidly rearrange Outlook items in any folder. Keeping this in mind, we have implemented a useful feature in Data Publisher that make use of Outlook views to group Outlook items in a more organized way. In every Outlook folder or calendar or contact, Data Publisher automatically adds four special Outlook views to help organize, sort, and track Outlook items in a simpler and sensible way. For example, in this special view, the Outlook items are arranged by the unique item ID of the published SharePoint list item in descending order. The SharePoint list name and site name are also available in the view. Similarly, in this Outlook view, all the Outlook items are grouped by the published SharePoint list name. Along with the list name, you will see the subtotal number of items in that group under the bracket. This view groups Outlook items by the published SharePoint site URL. Lastly, with this view, all the Outlook items are first grouped by the published SharePoint site URL and then further subgrouped by the published SharePoint list name. This gives you a hierarchy tree representation of all Outlook items organized and summarized in a better way. So, we have learned that Data Publisher add-in in Outlook makes it very easy and effortless to publish your mails, appointments, tasks, or contacts from Outlook to SharePoint manually or on the fly. And because SharePoint is ideal for sharing documents and collaboration, Data Publisher can be adapted and used for a variety of content management purposes in SharePoint. For example, Help desk teams can use Data Publisher for filing trouble tickets from Outlook emails to an issue tracking SharePoint list. Published tickets then can be collaborated and assigned to the relevant technicians in SharePoint, accessible by all members of your help desk team. Another possible use can be for submitting meetings and schedules from Outlook Calendar to a SharePoint calendar list. or for publishing attachments and emails on document libraries for email retention and archival purpose in SharePoint. In short, by enabling association and data adaptation from Outlook to SharePoint, Data Publisher provides a unique solution for a controlled email and content management in the organizations. This concludes this video demonstrations on Data Publisher for Outlook and SharePoint.